outside. <laughs> Welcome everyone, couple hours drive from when we left off to Earl Dunder Roadhouse, which is in the center of the center of Australia. And we're now having some lunch and watching this short movie clip about the kangaroos. <laughs> I'm having, having camel. You're having camel. Really? Vegan camel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Food done. That was uh, very filling. Now it's time for some wildlife. What are we doing? What are we doing, Jack? Emus. Emus. We're gonna do some emus, and when I say do, we're gonna cuddle them and uh, maybe shoot some videos. I only have a little bit of food, mate. Ah! <laughs> don't bite my hand. Come back. No. no. Oh, he's he's he just walks in and he goes, Hum. Oh, I'll just take oh, one. Every one. time I try to film these guys doing it, because Lauren's reactions are hilarious. Oh, shit. It's like she's like, oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I think they don't like the mic or something. Oh, maybe my hat. I don't know. Oh, no, I don't like that one. No. Nah. <laughs> no. Got Naughty. <laughs> Why are they so aggressive with me? <laughs> Emu time done. That was quite fun. Is that a rhyme? Yeah, how else can I rhyme this? <laughs> Good spot. Uh, it's 199 kilometers to Ellis Springs, so we'll be on the road for a little bit. Quick vlog. We're almost there. I don't know if you can. No, you can't see it. No, we love There's a big whirly whirl, which is the scientific name for tornado. Oh, we can call it a tornado in America. In America? That's right. Oh, uh, hurricane. We're very close to Ellis Springs. Springs. There's some amazing clouds outside that I've never seen before in my life. But if it goes as I think it will, we're gonna have a um, Absolute banger of a sunrise, sunset. Maybe also sunrise, who knows, who knows. Bus in this case. Well, welcome everyone. My name's Brolger. If you don't know what a Brolger is, that's actually a nickname. A Brolger is actually a tall, skinny bird with long legs. What you need to do if you find a kangaroo lying out there on the street is examine the mum's pocket. Ready, Lucas? Because hiding away in that carcass is sometimes a little one, like this. Hello. <laughs> oh. See that? Like oh. that. And sometimes a little baby, very gentle, very gentle. That's good. And sometimes a little one hiding away that was there the whole time. Just very gentle, that's good, that's good. This is little Millie, and Millie's about five months old as a little red kangaroo. She was still alive in her mother's pocket for about two days. So about two days, her mum was lying on the side of the road, no one, no one knowing about this. It's not that people don't care, people just don't know. So that's why now, I dedicated my life to showing people the recently rescued babies so people can see them and understand that they were actually rescued out of a dead kangaroo lying out there on the street. And now we're here in Alice Springs to visit the kangaroos and we're here for the um, mega meet. I think this is the best bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's so cute. I'm in love with her, I'm gonna steal her. <laughs> Boys having a fight again. <laughs> It's just normal behaviour for boy kangaroos to fight. And of course they fight each other in the wild. Okay, yeah, that's when I have the big kangaroos and this is Roger. This is the big fella. He's quite famous actually. Let's oh, that's Roger him. coming through. Have you heard of Roger? He's so yeah. big. A lot of people have. Oh my god. Recently recognised as one of the ten most famous animals in the world, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> but Roger's reputation was normally for aggression and chasing me round the bush. Oh, are you? Yeah. <laughs> like this. Touch them on the backside. Hello. Oh, she wants to get back. She will. Normal, normal baby kangaroos like I mean, baby kangaroos like her don't want to be out of the pouch. The pouch is their security. So she is just learning to hop. So see, just little hop. She's just learning. So 
So her pouch is her bedroom, oh. so to speak. So when mother kangaroo does this for a baby at about this age, just so mum can clean out her pocket, so mum would stick her head in the pouch and start licking it clean, little baby has the time to have its legs on the ground for the first time. But it's not very confident, and that's because it's had all of its life till now inside a pocket. And when the time is right, the baby will look, mum will bend her, bend down, relax her pouch, and the little baby will somersault. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. So, the pouch is really like the child's bedroom. That's where they feel safe. Pure muscle. <coughs> Look at the shoulders on him. All right. He's going to put on another 15 or 20 kilos. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so, that's dangerous for me in the future because he has no fear of me. Later on, he's going to be a kickboxer. He's going to be that big. And he's going to have no fear of me. So later on, when I go, when he gets older and I go too close to him, he's going to misunderstand my posture as a challenge and he'll fight me. And like I said, being that size, he'll actually try to just end a fight real quickly. He'll just put me in a choker hold and squeeze me until I pass out. He'll just do that, and that's oh, what he wants to do. Uh, don't, don't, do, don't no. allow that. It's not for the kangaroos. It's yeah. not. Everything's for the kangaroos. So yeah. to have 20 students sitting down in the grass is not beneficial no. for the kangaroos. So everything is for the kangaroos. So. <laughs> this is it. The so, oh, that's what I was Dale's and here I am back at the room. I'm going to ditch the vlog here, guys. I'm just going to leave the camera and enjoy the steakhouse that we're heading to. Because it's been a long day. A long couple of days. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. The kangaroo sanctuary was incredible. The Karke or Kark, I don't know how you say it, uh, tour was top five tourism experiences that I've done in Australia so far. Highly recommend that near Kings Canyon. And uh, yeah, it's been a massive day, but there's plenty more to come. So I hope you've been enjoying it. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon.